I'm probably inventing this into the past, but the way Crystal Sync works, the reason that it was so automated in a certain way for cameras in the past is because it uses an inherent technology uh, that's a part of frequencies going through anything. It's more a scientific principle and a mechanic of nature than it is actual technology, and that's the way good technology operates. So when you cut a certain type of quartz crystal that's formed a certain way, depending upon the opacity of the crystal itself uh, and the, the way you cut it, you can get a frequency modulation, how we've been talking about frequencies in videos for a long time now, of light. Well, those frequencies can pass at slower wavelengths uh, through the crystal and that makes light at different distances be in focus and that's a, a type of autofocus. Now, the complexity of that is a little more detailed. So, ordinarily what you would do is you would have um, the ability to focus, like say, at close distance and then at long distance because you'd have two different crystals you can engage, like you turn a knob and it would allow it to engage at a different wavelength of light that is taking in further away through the lenses and in and onto the film, you know, through the using the crystal sink, you know, as like a guidelines. Um, or close range. So you have like close autofocus or far range farther range, you know, like like medium regular range to long range. And those two crystals uh, can manage that. And the more crystals that you can have actively phase engaging through each other and somehow like 100% manually do the better the effect you'll you'll get and that's what they did in the past fuck you pay me I deserve money you're all a bunch of pieces of shit I'm a genius and you are not all right because apparently they disappeared all the way back in time space because things really do get invented when they're useful yep so Okay, here's how a crystal microphone works. An ordinary condenser microphone, you know, it's in a capsule. It's, it's like this, and it's got a little cardoid thing, and then it's got wires coming down from it inside of a capsule. And ordinarily, there's a mesh over it. But it's, it, that's the basic design, is the point. Like that. Nothing special, you know, it's got a, 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 you know, something hooked into the bottom of it, whatever. The simple modification for this design is really simple. You have the same capsule right yep but then inside of here you put a cut piece of crystal in the shape of a well a, a diamond sorry for fucking that up whatever anyways the point is that diamond has the same post coming down from it but the difference here is you know with wires and everything that it has an electrical signal passing up through the top as well and so it's suspended in electricity is the point. So it reverberates when you speak into it. Yes. And that is superior. Yes, because the uh, you're the right. The electricity turns into suspended light in the crystal, which then refracts out into sound. It's not smashed out. It's not complex. You just send an electrical signal yeah. all the way through it. Yeah, and have that. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, so it's like the it's kind of like a light bulb, only it isn't glowing. It's it, different. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And this will create a much warmer, much clearer yeah. sound. And uh, it's a crystal sync microphone. Fuck yeah, I've seen them using them. So come on now.